Well, gas prices have risen to their highest price so far this year. Well, prices at the pumps across the GTA are at $1.65 a litre. The increase is largely a result of the hike in the carbon tax that was implemented on Monday. Well, the price on carbon pollution went up by $15 per tonne, equating to a 3.3 cent per litre rise. I think they're horrendous. Right. And it's getting to the point where it's too expensive to go to work. Uh, it's not good. I commute. I do 65,000 kilometers a year, and I just filled up this thing with high tests at 203 almost. Well, joining us live now with more on the reasons behind the increase is Patrick Dahan, the head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate your time, Patrick. Tell us uh, what is, I guess, if you were to pinpoint it, what is the main reason we are seeing uh, this increase in uh, gas prices? Well, as you mentioned, we have the uh, increase in the carbon tax, which uh, started just a couple of days ago. But we're also contending with the normal seasonality and prices. Oil now is at its highest level since last October nearing $86 a barrel. That's partially pushing prices up across Canada and basically North America. The seasonality, though, has more to do with the switch over to summer gasoline, which is happening now. Demand is going up. We have a lot more travel as temperatures warm up. And refineries doing maintenance before the summer driving season starts. That's what's pushing prices up. And as you mentioned, across Toronto now, the GTA area now looking at an average price of about 162 a liter, uh, certainly uh, continuing to go up with the pressures. Uh, oil continuing to rise is likely to continue pushing those prices higher. Patrick, where do you see these prices heading as we head into the summer months? I think uh, we could continue to see prices going up another five to 10 cents a liter here over the next several weeks. I think by May long, we'll probably be at a point where prices could rival $1.75 a liter, but we should then start to see some relief. Refinery maintenance should be starting to wrap up here over the next couple of weeks. And by May long, we may start to see prices receding a bit, but I think for most of the summer driving season, we'll see prices probably north of the $1.50 a liter mark. Um, your website has some pretty useful tools. Uh, tell us, tell our viewers what they can find on GasBuddy.com, uh, especially when it comes to trying to find the best uh, the best price to fill up. Yeah, the Gas Buddy app and the website are designed to help commuters and motorists alike uh, find those lower prices throughout the GTA area. There is an incredible uh, discrepancy between the lower and higher prices. Uh, some of the lower price uh, gas stations this morning still under 150 a liter, whereas if you want to pay more, there's prices approaching 166 a liter. So uh, the Gas Buddy app and the Gas Buddy site simply show consumers where those lower prices are around them. Uh, when we switch to the, uh, you know, you were talking about this uh, just a moment ago when we're switching to the, I guess, the summer blend of gas. How big of a difference is that, and uh, especially when it comes to the price? So why is it more expensive? Well, a lot of this is because of Clean Air Act, uh, Clean Air Amendments that were in the U.S. The U.S. market really feeds heavily into the Canadian market. The two are basically conjoined now. The summer blend of gasoline burns cleaner in the warmer months, especially for larger populations, area like GTA. It's critical to keep those ozone levels down. The problem in the cost differential is winter gasoline essentially has more butane. That butane is much cheaper than a conventional gallon of gasoline, but that butane has to come out for those summer blends of gasoline because it's more volatile. It emits more air pollution. The components that go into summer gasoline, unfortunately, quite a bit more costly, and that's why the transition from winter to summer generally leads to a price jump that will roll back, though, once we get to September. All great information. Patrick DeHaan, head of petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks for having me.